Hello everybody, uh, we're going to do an example of graphing a polynomial that is already in factored form. Um, so some things that you need to see is the fact that you see parentheses. Um, so these are already factored for you. Uh, so these, this is called factored form. So when we look at the first step, factor if needed, it is factored. Um, the second step is to find the y-intercept. And when something is written in standard form, like number one, we can see that the y-intercept is negative 24 because if we substitute zero for all the x's, you are left with the last number. But in this case, this is different. So you are actually going to have to substitute zero and do the math here. And Let's see what we get. We get negative 2 times negative 1 times 4 times 1. And this will be, and that's a multiplication sign, that will be a positive 8. So our y-intercept is 0, 8. It's going to be really important when you graph at the end and you kind of see how the behaviors work out. It's, it's easy to check if you did it correctly or not. Because if it's not going to follow the end behavior that it's supposed to, then you know you did something wrong. But if I check my math real quick, negative 2 times negative 1, that's 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 times 1 is still 8. So 0, 8 looks good. Um, so for letter C, when we find the x-intercepts, 0 slash roots and solutions, um, I want you to notice that it's already factored. So we can just do x minus 1 equals 0. But I want you to write x minus 2 equals 0 twice. And I only want you to do that to remind you that there is something interesting going on at that point. And the same thing with x plus 1 equals 0. You can write that um, three times. So here we have x equals 1. Here. We have x equals 2. I'm just going to write that one more time. And here we have x equals negative 1. And I hope you can see that that happens three times. So our points that we have are 1, 0, and 2, 0, and negative 1, 0 for x-intercepts. So we'll talk about how that impacts the graph later. So now we're going to look at letter D, which says determine whether the leading coefficient is positive or negative. And when something is in factored form, it's really nice to see what the answer is. So here, our leading coefficient is negative 2. So we know our sign is negative. And the next question is, is it even or odd? This is where it can get tricky. Um, I don't want you to have to distribute and multiply the whole thing to find out what's the leading, uh, like what's the highest degree of this problem. I want you to notice if we do this three times, this would be x to the power of three. If we multiply this twice, we would get x to the power of two. And here we have x to the power of one. So all you have to do is count how many factors you have, and that's going to tell you uh, the degree, the highest degree of the problem. So I hope that you see that 3 plus 2 plus 1, that our degree is 6. So this is going to be an even polynomial. So it's negative because a 2 is negative in the front. And if we multiply this whole thing out, our biggest uh, degree that we would get is a 6. And if you don't believe me, you could actually distribute everything and see that. Um, so I challenge you to do that if you're not convinced that it's 6. And now the question is asking us about the end behavior. I hope that you remember that when something is negative and even, an example to always look at is this. So I don't know if you recall y equals negative x squared. This is even in uh, negative, and if you see the behavior, it's down, comma, down. 
So you're going to start down and you're going to end down. So you want to keep this in mind because this is going to help you uh, with your graph. And if, once again, if you look at that paper I gave you that kind of distinguishes um, the four types of functions and their end behaviors, that will be really helpful. And so we are done with that. And then G says, um, does any of the zeros have a multiplicity? And this is definitely a yes. So let's write, let's separate all this. Letter G. So when we look at x equals 1, we say that has a multiplicity of 1. So n nothing special happens there. You go through the point, through the point. But x equals 2, we have a multiplicity of 2, not because it's x equals 2, but because 2 happens twice. So like what I like to say is there's going to be a bounce that happens at that point. And then x equals negative 1 has a multiplicity of 3. And this is going to look like a saddle or a baby cubic. So once again, that can be a little hard to visualize until you actually see it on a graph, but it's going to look something like that. So you still go through the point, but you kind of make it like a, like a saddle. And I'll show you what that looks like on the graph. So now this is the fun part where we get to graph. And I start by just labeling everything. So my y-intercept was 0, 8. My x-intercept is 1, 2, negative 1. So remember, we start on the left side and we start on the bottom. So I'm going to start here. And negative 1 has a multiplicity of 3. So when I get to it, I kind of make this cubic. And let me get a different color to really show you how that looks. It's really subtle. Do y'all see that? Just You just have to show that little part right there just to make it look like you know something different happens when something repeats with a multiplicity of 3. Then you go to 8, which you go through it because it's just a y-intercept. And then at 1, that's a regular point. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it so squiggly. You just go through it. And then when you get to 2, it's a multiplicity of 2, so you're going to bounce down. You don't go through it, you bounce. And I hope you notice that the ends are down and down, because remember, we said it was negative and even, so that's going to be the down behavior. Uh, I mean, that's going to be the end behavior, sorry. And that's pretty much it. So there's a lot of pieces to it, and I would just make sure... Uh, to look at what am I comfortable with, what am I still get confused on, and, and then go from there. So I hope this video helps.